today on Be Something Wonderful, how your story changes everything, transcending the limited you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from a subscriber. It said, Tom, no matter what I do, no matter, no matter what affirmations I use or processes I use, nothing changes in my life. It's the same. The same problems, the same obstacles I'm facing. And I just don't know what to do. Really, for me, affirmations feel corny or false. And, and, and even when I say them, they just feel silly to me. I was wondering if you can unpack that. Well, guys, we're going to unpack this today and more. Here's what I want to say. That, that no change can come until there's a change in consciousness, until there's a change within. The reason affirmations are powerful, but if you're, if you're, if you're saying the affirmations from a lower state of consciousness, from a lower state of consciousness where it, where it doesn't feel true, where, where, where you do feel thoughts of doubt, of fear, of silliness, then, then it can't happen. You can't move. So really, let's unpack this today. And let's, let's take it step by step. Consciousness equals life, right? Your state of consciousness equals your life experience. So, if, so as long as you're telling the story that things don't change, as long as you tell that old story that affirmations feel silly and they, they don't feel true to me, that's the life experience you will create. That's the consciousness or the state of consciousness that you will dwell in, right? Your, it's your theme, that consciousness, that theme of consciousness is what creates everything, is what determines your life, right? So the people, events, and circumstances come from your state of being. Nothing is ever caused by the outer world. So if you're looking for something to change or something to happen in the outer world, it can't happen. Right? It can happen. The amount of joy or suffering you experience is wholly dependent on your current state of consciousness. So if you're in a lower state of consciousness, if you're in a theme of consciousness that's about doubt, that's about feeling silly when you say, I'm divine or I feel abundant, if that doesn't feel good, and that's your, that's your lower self, that lower state of consciousness, right? That what some call the ego. Getting in there and saying you're not worthy. So stop saying it. You, you should doubt because, you're, because you don't have what you want, right? This is what's going on. Healing then, really what is healing? Healing is really choosing a new state of consciousness. What's that, that's what true transformation is. It's rising. It's choosing though a new state of consciousness, allowing and receiving it, surrendering to, that, to what's already, remember, you're already whole. The reason that why those affirmations do work and can work is because it's already a true state, abundance. It's already a true state, divinity. But you can't get there if you feel trapped in your current state of consciousness, right? And you keep telling that story, right? Freedom comes from transcending limited states of consciousness. That's what transformation is. That's what healing is. Let's, let's unpack this a little bit more. True freedom and happiness doesn't come from attachments to or trying to avoid, like aversions, conditions or people in the outer world, right? The more you try to avoid people or conditions or you think that, that, that nothing changes because you're looking at outward conditions, right? You're, you're, you're attached to those outward conditions or you're trying to avoid things that you don't like. All of that is fleeting and changing, right? Your state of consciousness, true change, is the lens through which you view reality. So it's how you're, it's the story you're telling yourself. It's that, that theme of consciousness that you're, that, you're, that you're telling your story, right? Remember, the story you tell, the thoughts you think are, are just made up, right? That even the thought, if you, can, if you can have the awareness of that, that you get to determine your story, you get to choose the thoughts that you, that you, cho that you will entertain. Then you're creating your life experience. You're choosing the state of consciousness where you want to dwell, right? Everything you desire, freedom, love, and joy, is within you. Completely fulfilled already. You're completely fulfilled already. You're just not surrendering to it. You're not allowing it. You're resisting it. The only resistance stems from your current limited state of consciousness. That's the only resistance, right, from there. It's, and remember, a lot of that, a lot of it is just subconscious now, 
right? It's a program that's running in the background, right? It was inherited from the environment through, through the repeated thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that, that you believe you now, that, that you now believe that that is who you are. Hear this, but here's the thing, that can change with a conscious choice to tell a new story, a conscious choice to, to understand that all thoughts are not yours. You're not, who you are are not your thoughts, right? Who you now are is not your story. You get to tell the story of yourself. You get to create it and choose the thought you think. This is powerful. So, so a lot, and, and a lot of spiritual teachers like Hawkins talk about the, the, the map of consciousness, right? Or, or Abraham Hicks talks about it as the emotional guidance system, right? Or you could even look at it like this, that in 3D reality, when you're focused on 3D reality, this is where you have anger and pride and jealousy and fear and shame and all those things, right? The lowest thing being shame, the highest state of consciousness being freedom and love, unconditional, right? You could think of it as almost 3D, 4D, and 5D. 5D with his holy spiritual, your holy higher self. 4D being your, your mental awareness, your spiritual path, your awakening, your openness to rise in consciousness, right? In 3D, just being stuck on, on, on focused on the conditions, right? That I can't change, right? That affirmations don't feel good, right? Where do affirmations start feeling good? When you're on the path, when you're open to it, right? The only thing ever required to awaken to your true self is the willingness to surrender and receive your good. The willingness to surrender and be open to that goodness, right? That's what this middle path is, right? On, on this on this uh, map of consciousness, right? The truth of who you are is rooted in unconditional love, wholly unlimited, unconditional love and complete. That's the truth, right? And this is just a simplified uh, idea of the map of consciousness. There's lots of them out there, right? But if you look at this, any other thought, belief, or perceptions learned are false limiting beliefs of your true nature. Any thoughts, beliefs, or perceptions learned, right? Learned from from the outside world, learn from your conditioning, learn from your childhood, learn from others. All of those are limiting and false. They're not your true nature, right? So it really is an unlearning process. But really, all that, all that is required is the willingness, the willingness to surrender, the willingness to think new thoughts. To, to attract new thoughts, right? Because the thoughts are not you. You'll start getting thoughts more of that higher you, right? So let's just uh, unpack that a little bit more. So when you say, I am divine, I'm whole, I'm perfect, unconditionally loved and worthy, if this feels corny, if this feels uncomfortable, if this feels cringeworthy, that's your small self clinging to that shadow identity of limitation in that lower state of consciousness. That's your small self clinging to that 3D world thinking, that 3D world existence that's not really you, right? Belief that love and happiness comes from the outside world. That's what that is. That's a belief that, that the only change can come from the outside world. Love and happiness and acceptance and worthiness. I have to prove, I have to get it, right? And, and otherwise you're, you're projecting blame and your, your efforting and struggle. That all comes from the 3D world. There's nothing to fix, to change, or find in the outside world to be happy, right? The, so this really is about accepting, surrendering, allowing, receiving the good that's already yours. That's what we're talking about. Whatever your old story is, defending your limited beliefs, it's only your attachment to it that blocks you from your true self. Hear this, it's your attachment to that old story right? That, that this doesn't work for me, so I, I want to avoid this, and I want to attract this. You're attracted to the, you're, you're, you're caught in the 3D world of conditions and effects, telling that old story. So what do you do? What do you do about this? The stories you're telling yourself are just that. They're only stories. They're not the truth. When you choose a new story out of the infinite possibilities of stories, you can tell you change your world immediately. Remember, the field of infinite possibilities, the field of God, that field of quantum field contains all stories, all possible realities, past, present, and future. You just get, you're just selecting from the ones that have been ingrained and carved in your, in your subconscious, right? Those keep coming up and you can't, those won't change until you start persistently 
telling a new story, right? As you tell that new story, as you live in that new story, then you create a new path, a new story, a new life, and you start living that, right? That's really what we're talking about, uh, how to get there is the awareness gap, right? Well, that's where your power is. It's being aware that you're telling the old story. It's being aware of the triggers. It's being aware that you're being triggered by that subconscious programming. When you have that awareness, that's where change comes from. You're not trapped by those old subconscious programs, right? You're not imprisoned by them. You can change them. How? When any event, circumstance, or condition comes up, whether it's an actual event happening in the moment or a past memory or a future projection or a future image, all of that creates a gap where you get to choose how you react, where you get to choose how you respond, where you, in other words, where you get to choose the story you're telling yourself. Hear this. This is so much power here. This is how you change. This is how you create new programs, right? You're just running. It's like a computer pro. You're just running old computer programs right? You have the capability because you can be aware of your thoughts. You can be aware that your thoughts are not you. You know your thoughts are not you because you can observe them. You wouldn't be able to observe them if they were who you truly are, right? You can observe those stories. When events happen or conditions, you can observe those. You can get into that moment of aware, that awareness gap, right? And choose to respond differently, right? This isn't a one and done thing, Right? This is when any event, situation, condition comes up, whether it's a memory that triggers you or a present event or something that you want to happen in the future. You get in that awareness gap. If you give yourself that, if you choose to be aware, right, that's where your power is in the now moment, then you can choose your reaction or your response. In other words, how you're going to think, feel, and believe about it. You get to choose. That's your new story. <clears throat> when you tell a new story, that creates a new reality. That is how your story changes everything, and that's how you transcend the limiting you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, that's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I always like to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.